Hi guys, how's it going? Let me know if you can hear me. I'm like such a tech dummy, so um, yeah. This is my first time. Oh, yay, there's Krieger. Oh, oh yeah, we got, hi. Oh! Well, I feel like, I feel a little bit like stressed right now, you guys. This is my first Instagram live uh, hosting duty. Um, I've done Instagram live a few times now, but whoo, to be like the one to like hit the live button was really exhilarating. Oh, snap. Oh, wow. Thank I you. I even put a makeup for you. Thank you. Representing. Oh, it looks so good on you. Thank you. Um, so what's going we, on? Should we give the the fanzos a, a chance to uh, to get here? Or just yeah, kind of... yeah. Let's just catch up and like let people get on, just yeah, like yeah. us. So um, I hope that you have like a glass of wine because clearly I cannot. Um, and so I was hoping that you would, but I did pour myself a sophisticated I... <laughs> glass of. <laughs> I went with the Waterloo sparkling water. Oh, nice. Well, listen. Because we have a Zoom happy hour later that I need to. Right. And it can't be like an all day affair. Like that's doing the most. Yeah. Yeah. And so listen, you're a professional crazy. athlete. And I wanted you're my nails crazy. to look bomb. So. Exactly. You are, a, and you're a professional athlete, like to be clear. So you can't be just boozing all day. Right. So how are you? It's so good to see you. I have a lot of people saying, Allie, you look amazing. And like, Allie, you should be an OPI model. And I'm just kind of like. Oh, speaking of which, what color did you pick? Oh, 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 OK. Well, um, I was going to leave a little bit up to the fan, fan vote, fan vote. So Can everyone guys. hear me? Can you hear me fine? Because my phone's like against. Yeah, no, it sounds good. OK, good. It sounds good. Um, OK, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we should just say welcome to O'Kriegers. Um, <laughs> let's give them a little bit of the jingle. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, oh Kriegers. Okay, very good. Um, welcome to O'Kriegers. Um, I think that Allie and I decided to do this. Oh, thanks for saying I look radiant, somebody. Um, she does, doesn't she? Yeah, I got that glow. I got that glow. Um, you can't see my waist down because I just like have a bowling ball on my shirt. It's like, <laughs> it's a scene. It's a scene, but it's fine. 44 it. more days. 44 more Prove days. Um, we decided to do O'Kriegers because, well, you know, everybody's going a little right now and um <clears throat> Allie and I um used to get our nails done a lot like when we were on the road with the national team I think one thing that people maybe don't realize Al with the U.S. team um is how much like free time we had I mean clearly so much free time only you know out in the field for like two hours maybe even if we have a double day like three hours a day um and part of our job which was um fantastic was to rejuvenate and rest and yeah. find things that brought you peace. And for Allie and I, one of those things was getting our nails did. So and we connecting. Nail buddies. And then I don't know, we just decided that we were going to, um, you know, maybe open our own salon one day if we get <laughs> really in need of a, a side <laughs> hobby. So Allie knows me so well. She already asked me earlier if I was going to. Um, taupe or taupe? Yeah, it's kind of like light taupe or darker taupe. And Crystal Dawn also makes fun of me with this because I, listen, I'm the kind of person, I know myself and I don't hide from myself. I know what I like, I know what I'm good at. And what I like is taupe nail polish. I just feel comfortable in it. It's like a security blanket. Um, sometimes in the spring or summer, like I get a little bit crazy um, with like a pink or like a tangerine um but but the mood right now i feel like is totally well that's the thing right it's like with nail polish like i feel which is a tough 
tough decision. It's kind of like, do you go with your mood? Which right now, let's be clear, we would be toast. Um, or do you- I didn't have black, great, so. Like, do you bring the funk a little bit and like bring some like extra color oh, into your life cute. to try to raise your mood? Yeah. So um, the good thing is, is um, actually I don't, surprisingly, I don't have a lot of taupe here um, at home. So I could go really kind of like boring vanilla um, and just like a <laughs> really light pink or to spice up my life, I could do a pink or a tangerine. So I think because I'm really trying to like boost my mood, I'm going to go with um, one of these. What, what are you going to go with? Um, I picked mine out earlier. So I'm just going to do a nude because that's just kind of how I'm feeling right now. Okay. Yeah, no, it's good to be. So I'm doing a yourself. nude, boring, but like maybe next week or the week right. after we can spice yeah, it up. Yeah, no, you have to be true to yourself at all times. Um, I love your color choice. Those are cute. Oh, thanks. I got them for Christmas, I think. Um, yeah. So, yes, my nails are dire right now. Allie doesn't have the same <laughs> nail biting habit that I have. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like, hard pass. Listen, I'm not a perfect person. Um, and one of my flaws is that I pick my nails like crazy it's definitely like a stress thing um mostly i bite my um or bite at my skin my cuticles um but also my nails it's just a scene it's atrocious and um i'm not proud of it there's worse habits to have um so i guess i'll take it i'll take my hit on that one but yeah. in order to prevent me from doing it and my nails looking brimville um and bloody and like not cute is um get my nails done a lot but yeah. clearly clearly uh that's gonna be a long time before we're all getting our nails done like i know my mean man spike spikes my guy at the nail salon <laughs> i remember meeting him no like he's my friend spike and i don't even know how, how he's i know right how now. are they he's doing how family's doing i thought about that yesterday like, gonna be staying open i'm really stressed for him I hope everything's okay. Um, but in the meantime, let's like, you know, learn how to do our own. Right. And perfect right, right. I, used to do this in, I used to do this in middle school, like sitting in my room yeah. um, at my computer desk yeah. and like painting my nail or like my homework desk, painting yeah. my nails. Like I know, all I the time. I feel very like cutesy about it. And like, yeah. this is bringing me back to old school. Like have, we should have had like Backstreet Boys or something in the background because <laughs> I feel like we're at like a sleepover uh, and we're like, girl time. Okay, we'll upgrade next. We'll upgrade next time. We'll yeah. Upgrade next yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, everybody at home, listen. Yeah, you grab typing, your paint. If you're typing, you're not painting. Okay? Yeah. So we're not going to be offended if we see a slowdown in the responses because um, y'all should be working it with what you right. have. Okay. Also, hey, oh, I don't know if you know what this is, but I bought this on Amazon a while ago for like, I don't know, my bachelorette or something. And it's called a Tweaksy nail polish holder. <laughs> and Tell I me more. I haven't used it yet, but. Tell me um, more. You put it on your hand like this. And I assume you put the nail polish in and you can hold it so you don't have to like. You know, if you're like oh. sitting on the couch or like, you know, sitting somewhere where you don't have a flat surface, wow. I think it's great. So I might test it out. Wow. That is, yeah. that's next level. So I could probably, <laughs> I'll probably okay, send you so one. Okay, so good. We got our colors selected. I'm going to go for this pinky, yeah. I think. I'm going to go for the pinky. I think that's cute. Yeah. Thanks. Um, so so how, are, okay, how have so you like me, been feeling? You, oh, yeah. And another thing for the fans, Allie and I decided that we're, this isn't going to be like some sophisticated question and answer kind of thing. So sorry if you guys have like some burning questions that don't get answered because listen, we're at the nail salon. This is Allie and I's opportunity to just catch up. Um, you guys are just here yeah. as innocent bystanders. Um, and you also- Who we be, appreciate. You also should be doing your nails too. So like no typing. Um, and then, and, and then gonna, write in, we can do like questions next week and have yes. them write in and like, yes, we're not yeah. opposed, but like, this is really for us right now. Right. And, <laughs> um, this is going to be pretty much similar conversation, obviously, you know, maybe a little toned down on some topics, um, that Alan yeah. and I would actually discuss, you know, at the nail salon. 
Yeah, like non-soccer stuff, like normal yeah. life stuff. Oh, God. Oh, it's <laughs> like we would get like, we would be so good. We'd be like, okay, when we get to do our nails, like no talking shop, like no talking yeah. shop. And See then, ya. like, one thing leads to another, and it's like, blah, 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 and we, we get into well, yeah. it, and we just have to, like, stop each other, so. Right. Um, okay, well. I'm starting. Guess, yeah, we're starting. We're starting. I guess I'm going to file. I don't know. Like, what are they? I already file? prepped. No, so. first they soak, but, like, I'm going to skip that part. Yeah, I already prepped. I already did my, I already did my file, so. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can wait, and we could just chit-chat. No, no, no. I mean, let's be clear. I have no nails. It's going to take me 10 seconds. Um, so, okay, listen. How are you doing right now? I think that it's really critical I mean, for us to check in with our friends. And, like, let's, yeah. like, real talk. Real talk. You know, it's been, it's been two months. We're, uh, yeah, May is tomorrow. And, um, oh, okay, Laura. You don't want to paint your nails? That's fine. Um, <laughs> It's Laura, two months come on. of of this, and and how are you doing? What have been some kind of like pros and cons of your lockdown time? So honestly, last week I kind of hit my wall. Like I was doing great at the beginning, and I was like, "Oh, this is going to be nice to kind of have some, you know, unexpected downtime for us." Like obviously, you know, our lifestyle is like wild. It's like we are always on the road, packing a bag, like in different cities and, you know, never really settled and never home and having the opportunity to like enjoy home and um, enjoy the things, you know, that we want to enjoy outside of our work. So I feel like at the beginning, I was like, yes, like, this is good. Our bodies can kind of have a rest before preseason. And, you know, this will pass and we'll be good. And, kind of unsure of like how long this was going to be so I I don't know I I then after you know a while a few weeks went by and trying to figure out training and finding a park to train in and like you know keeping fit and healthy and eating right and you just like start to go a little crazy so last week um Ash and I were actually out training and I had like the worst attitude and um it doesn't know, happen I, much but we're all no and like i'm usually like so positive and like full of energy and doing this and that and like you know lifting people up and for me i was like you know what like i'm just not okay right i'm i hit my i hit my time period of like you know processing everything and not doing great and right. you know what i don't care so my energy was like so bad and Ash was literally, she stopped kicking the ball and was like, do you want to go home? <laughs> and, I was, <laughs> and I was like, actually, yeah, I do. I didn't say anything. No, I didn't say it, but oh, I didn't say I anything. And like, I was just like, we like bah. no, no, we obviously finished the session and like, but I just wasn't in a good mood. And now this yeah. week, I feel like I've turned a new leaf. So I feel like I'm back on the up and up. But last did week- Did you do anything or did you just have to accept like, like that time was just kind of grim and it was what it is and you just had to like kind of like yeah. see the storm out like honestly I, I had to see the storm out you know and right. like just kind of stick to the routine and the day-to-day -day stuff that we had to get done and I was just like not great but then you know talking to my friends and family and reconnecting has been actually amazing so that always helps and like calling my brother and um you know having good conversations with Ash you know, every day is, is healthy. So like, it was fine, but yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've hit my, I've hit my wall. I'm sure a lot of people who are listening and, and yourself have done that as well. Yeah. So. I was good, good, good. Probably for like, yeah, like you said, like two weeks, I'm having technical difficulties with my, um, with my base coat here. Okay. No, I'm back now. <laughs> oh, you're doing a base coat. Yeah. I have a base coat, my color and a top coat and cuticle oil. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. Um, well, I, I need yeah, no, to... two, two weeks was like a vacay, I think, for a lot of people. Clearly, right. I don't want to be insensitive to people that were um, are sick and no, no, family members are sick. So I it's don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be like insensitive to that or how awful this is for so many families and businesses and, and things like that. Um, so I just want everybody to kind of know that, but for, uh, for me personally, the, like the first couple weeks were, uh, like sort of, uh, 
a nice reset period, I think, right. just for like myself, like just to catch up on rest to like, I have this like running to do list of like stuff I just avoid, 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 like emails that were like building up or like, yeah. like my attic was like kind of getting like doing the most like just a lot of stuff and I just had some like to do items and I felt so wonderful about like getting some stuff done yeah and like getting myself really to a good spot um but that kind of ran its course I'd say the pros for yeah. for me um because I'm having the baby in 44 days I know I'm so counting now. Um, listen, I, I'm going to write a book, um, called like Tomboy's Guide to Pregnancy because like, you know me, like I love kids, like, but the pregnancy thing, I'm just kind of like, mm. Yeah. I just. How have you been feeling about that? Just about pregnancy just, or, preg or pregnancy? Yeah. In, no, just being pregnant, time. just being pregnant and like the process. Well, being pregnant in this time is like completely okay. yeah, a yeah, whole yeah. other thing. I mean. I feel like I feel very grateful that like I was able to get pregnant like very quickly and and I've had it like a relative to other people that have like morning sickness and stuff like that like I've had it really easy like there's been a couple of things like right now my like ribs hurt I'm like stuck <laughs> but um I have had it easy it's just some people are like yeah. oh it's such a beautiful thing and, and like so natural and like take all these pictures of like the bump and all this stuff and I'm just like I'm not that kind of girl like it's just yeah I it's get an amazing it. thing but I'm just like not obsessed with it yeah I get um, it but everyone's like you know their feelings about it is you know can be completely different like to each their own you know right, like the whole process yeah, yeah, is yeah. different and the whole feeling is different for everyone so yeah like, you're yeah, no, it totally is. And, and you know me, I always try to be a good teammate. And I just feel like um, I'm taking one for the team on this one. Yeah. Um, you know, you and Ash have some options who carries the baby. Me and Dave don't have those options. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, I just feel like I've kind of taken one for the team. But like, it's all good. And I think that actually during this period has been a nice time to be pregnant for Dave and I just because it's almost forced me to like relax. Right. Um, and as you know, I'm like a busy little bee and like bopping around. And so I think that this kind of caused me to really kind of rest and for Dave and I to spend like quality time together and just yeah. like get the baby room ready. And I know. How is all it that looking? kind of stuff. So there's been some good things that come out of it. Oh my gosh, though, you would die. Like I've been like pretty stable. Photos. I've been stable and like, um, pretty level-headed throughout pregnancy except one night oh dear dear i wish this was here to tell this story <laughs> i was it gonna was ask when you new york, it was when like new york city was like really putting lockdown measures in place and a couple hospitals in new york city had decided that um only patients would be able to be in the room or only birthing I remember women that. I not remember even, that, yeah. not even partners right Right. So I'm I'm reading this as as kind of being like, oh my gosh, like this is what's going to happen all over the country. Yeah, but who was on your birth list to begin with? It was just going to be Dave. Good question. It was just going to be Dave, and we hired a doula. So it was going to be okay, doula cool. and Dave. Yeah. yeah. Right now we can only allow one, so clearly um, it's going to be the doula. Just kidding. It's going to be Dave. But um, <laughs> so when it was like, no, for a oh. couple of days, I thought it was going to be zero. And I started crying. I was reading this article. Oh I started crying. And I was like, Dave was trying to be sensitive because he knew that, like, I was actually genuinely upset. But I think inside he was, like, trying not to laugh because I was being yeah. so dramatic and absurd. He was like, this isn't going to happen. I'm like, and I was crying. I was like, what? Are you just going to, like, drop me off? Like, like it's the airport. You're just going to drop me off at the front door? And, like... And like, what are you gonna do? Like, you're just gonna like go to Panera or something and like go get a sandwich, and and I'm just gonna have a and wait for a text. And yeah. he was like, he's like, no, I don't think that would happen. And plus, it wouldn't be Panera. I would go to Jimmy John's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like such a standard um, anyways, day. Of I was like such a drama queen, but I mean. It's not really a drama queen. Like, I was, like, really upset. No, like, this, this is, like, real life shit, Hale. This is half your kid. How are you not yeah. going to, like, be able to be there, too? Um. Anyways, 
But then that like um that was dropped within like a few days, and they're like, okay, that's cr- that's crazy. As long as everybody's healthy, they can be in the room. Right. Um, good. So, good. Yeah. So baby, the baby thing is like fine. We're just chugging along. I'm excited to meet the little nugget. Like, it's oh my god, awesome. me too. Hey, I can't wait. He's I know. Be the He's gonna have so nugget. many wonderful aunties. I can't and, wait. And to be honest, I am looking forward to working out hard again like i'll be honest like i mean i've still been working out like i've jogged like at like snail's pace oh my gosh there's like 95 year olds (laughs) that are passing me but like at least i'm doing something you know that's what i was gonna ask you though like what are you looking forward to most like when all this is over i mean if it is gonna be soon like what are you excited about Um, what's like the first thing you're gonna do when we're allowed to like be norms i like miss like i miss going like hanging with you guys and going to coffee shops and like connecting yeah. i yeah. become like a real big in- a- extrovert and so are you know totally. so are you for the most part we totally we yeah. like our like time to kind of regroup on our own yeah that's what i that's, that's what i miss so much like i miss just going over to our friends houses and having like cookouts and like chill and wine nights and I don't know just like be around people like people yeah. meet people right like we need to lean in on each other and like it's it's really difficult during this time to like not have those people in your life and have like human interaction I feel yeah. like even like being on a team right like we're always going to training and we're interacting with other people and it's like no totally it's, it's really hard. it's been hard yeah you know it's been like I don't know. That's I don't been think like I need tough. anything over the top, like, but I have been missing, yeah, just the things that we love. Like, we love playing football. Like, we love getting coffee. We love yeah. getting our nails. Like, um, just yeah, connection. I think is like really yeah, important. connection. Um, but then, like, what have you like? What are some new hobbies that like you've liked? Because I don't know. I feel like I've been taking on. Like a bunch of new hobbies that I didn't realize I really liked and enjoyed. So that's been kind of cool too. Like, that's you know, awesome. if we can't like, go out with friends. Up, well, just like um, cooking and like riding my bike and taking the dogs out on walks like yeah. three times a day. How are you um, up? So oh my gosh, I can't wait for Frankie to meet Storm and Logan. Oh my God, they're great. Um, Storm might be going to training soon. Okay. Um, she's such a sweet little angel, but you know we want to give her the best life ever, and you know, and you the best life ever. Yeah, and also just like set her up for success. You know, to be like such a a great happy dog. So that's something that what we're are looking some of to. Her mis- mischievous um, elements, like right now. <laughs> well, bulldogs are like pretty stubborn anyway, but they're super smart, and like she's. I don't know. She just gets like, she's super energetic and like her personality is amazing. Um, she just like loves to like snuggle and cuddle and be around us. And I don't know, she's just always excited about the little things. So it's really fun to watch her like run around the house, but also she's just like food driven. So, you know, we have to like teach her to like be calm around like mealtime. And it's just oh really gosh. difficult like to train her to do the things that we, you know, want her to do to like work for her food, basically, and be like more disciplined. Um, yeah. So it's been tough that way. Yeah, she and, has to work for it, honey. Like, yeah, you know, we, there's like, no don't... free handouts around here. Yeah, and we're not like professionals, you know. Like we can only look up so many YouTube videos on like how to like train your dog to be yeah. happy and healthy, and you know, like, and you yeah. know, it's obviously but she's still a pup too. Like maybe she still... is, yeah. She's Finally, like, the, like not need as much food and she's probably still growing and stuff. Yeah, so. she's, she is. So she's like, we're not, she's fine. She's great. And like her personality is amazing and we're so lucky and grateful. So, but it's like. nice having dogs during this time, huh? Oh my God. I don't know what we would do. No, they're like our little buddies. Like, yeah. Frankie is definitely my, one of my best friends. I know. I wake up and I'm like, you want to go for a walk? No, I do. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Walking, the walking of dogs is really good for mental health, I think. Oh, it is. It's so great. I meet, like, all of our other neighbors. I and, know. Like, it's I fun, I mean, so even though we can't my really. my neighborhood now. Yeah, it's great. Um, I'm on coat, too, by the way, on my, on okay. my right hand. Oh, I'm just finishing my last thumb with coat. Not coat. really with my dominant hand painting, but we'll see how it turns out. I know. Out. No, my right hand is always, like, atrocious. The worst. Like, lefty's, like, oh, speaking of that. My toes right now um, are 
wretched. Um, yeah, I don't even want to talk about mine. I was like, I, when, when you're pregnant, right? Like past a certain point, you like, it's kind of uncomfortable to like tie your shoes and like bend down, like get yeah. to your feet. I've always so, wondered that, like, what do you do about that? Are you like, well, like you what, your shoes? So basically what I was you saying. You were in flip flops all the time? What I was what? saying is I asked Dave, I thought it was a reasonable request, but I asked Dave, like, hey, do you mind painting my toenails? I can't reach them without it being, like, uncomfortable. And yeah. he said, absolutely not. What? <laughs> yeah, like, he was, like, he's not into it at all. He was just, like, I don't <laughs> want to paint your toenails. Like, I don't, like, feet. Like, I've never done this before. I mean. Like, I'm not painting your toenails. And it made me think for one second that I should have married a woman. <laughs> Damn! Like out. I was like, this is ridiculous. You're not gonna paint your wife's toenails when she asks when I'm carrying your <laughs> child. And um, just in that moment, that one thought. Yeah, I said now is now is one of those times that I wish I wish I married a woman. Um, so, anyways, my toenails right now that might be have to be an hour episode. I don't know. Oh God. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Oh hi, Peens. Oh hi, Peens. Pino. I haven't watched your live. Yeah, what is she doing? Your Insta live with freaking Joe Biden yet? I can't wait. I can't wait. Sorry, I took a nap. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like I was really tired. I know. And I took a nap. And I was like doing my. Sesh. And I was like doing my makeup for us. So. Oh yeah. Um, okay, I'm putting on my top coat. Wait, I forgot to tell you. Ash and I are doing a garage gym. Oh yeah, so that's it's, something have that, you had like, to go buy stuff or like get it sent or whatever. Yeah, we got it. Um, yeah, we got it sent, which is so exciting. And um, because like we don't know how long we're gonna be in this, so right. our new project kind of, I don't know. Is do you to always life work out fun. with Ash? Like, are you workout partners, or do you do your own workout sometimes? No, no, no. I mean, depending on if we're like riding the bike or something, um, or I have different, you know, different like sprints or runs that I have to do yeah. obviously for her position it's like a lot different so yeah um they kind of cater it towards positions if yeah I mean you know so like I don't know I focus on that and then she'll do her part and then we'll do like the soccer part together which has been like thank goodness yeah I know you girls know, I'd be like going and like training partner like with you 24 7 yeah and she like really pushes me I think I do the same for her so it's good like we hold each other accountable you know that's awesome do you like shoot at her or like strike balls or not really? <laughs> well I try um okay. no but like she right now is still in that cast oh so it's yeah. coming off soon which has been actually like really good timing yeah that is really good timing you know so it's great so hopefully soon. We'll see. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see you guys next. I wonder when it's going to be. I mean, hopefully Gosh, the NFL season, like, gets going. Um, I know. And. Well, like, we don't know yet. They're projecting. They said, like, you know, mid-May and then, you know, for preseason. And then we don't, we don't know yet. Yeah. You know, things are, like, getting pushed back here and there, so. Isn't it crazy that, like, we'll see. I will probably have a child, like, since, I the know. Last, since the last game of NWSL? Like, literally, our last game, okay, like, everybody kind of knows. They don't have to – we don't have to be a secret about it. I was pregnant for the last couple of weeks of the season. Hooray! Yeah. He's, a, yeah. he's a winner. Um, and um, so – Yeah, but that was so amazing for you, how everything, like – unfolded I was like so proud of you and just as your friend like seeing that that I don't I don't know I just think oh, you're thanks, bud. just the best and I'm not just saying this but like it was awesome it like kind of makes me emotional how like it just all unraveled you know for you and it's just like so no, perfect I mean, it was unfortunate that Mayor obviously Corey oh my god it. absolutely you but know, then it that, allowed me to like step in, play a little right back. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've just had a really good mentor um, through the years. <laughs> right side, strong side. I know. And, well, like, shout out like, to like, Mayor. I know right? what to do. I've been watching Ali do this for a decade. Um, yeah, no, that was awesome to win, and and yeah. I didn't tell anybody. Like I was like, eh, we can start trying. Like it's close enough to the end, and then it was like, 
hip hop. Okay, this is happening. We're doing it. I didn't tell anybody on the team, not even Crystal, who's like my bestie on the team. Yeah. Because I just did not want any distractions as we were in our championship run. Yeah. And yeah. um, and then in the locker room after, of course, you see all like those Budweiser ads of people like chanting yeah. everywhere. And like as soon as the coaching la- coaches left, I was like, I'm sorry, I can't drink you guys. And they're like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? And I was like, yay, we had 12 men on the field. <laughs> They're like, oh. Stop! <laughs> I would have oh, died. Gosh. Um, yeah, so I told him in the locker room. So, um, But anyways, like, there might not be an NWSL game until, like, nine months later. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. No, I the know. The one... season's already long. Yeah, not to be, like, negative Nancy, but, like, even this year, like, we don't know what's going on. Like, we can be real about it. Like, none of us know, you know? What do you mean? Like, the entire season? Well, I don't know how long this is going to last. It keeps getting pushed back. And, like, if there's, like, a second wave, I mean, none of us know. Everyone's just kind of like, oh, it'll be over soon. It's like, well, we don't know. Right. You know, like, I'm not – I'm going to be hopeful that we start. Yeah, yeah, Like, guaranteed, like, I want to get back out there. but first, we're, like, back in – some I hope so, but I mean, shoot, but I, don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm like cross, keeping my fingers crossed because I'm just like so ready for group training and getting back Wait, out there. Speaking of playing. keeping your fingers crossed, give me a little glimpse what you got going on. Ooh, girl. You guys look at that shine. They look good. They look good. Um. I'm going to have to go get myself some topes. Let me see yours. Is, I look like a little child. Like, I am a 35-year-old. You know how they have, like, they say, like, man-child? Like, I'm a woman-child. Um, but you know what? Whatever. It's, like, bringing me joy. and Yeah, and it's just fun. Yeah, it's just, it's just fun. fun. Um, I okay, let so, so what else is new? What have you been cooking up? Oh, yeah. So I bought – well, after seeing Leslie Osborne's like, um, Vegan for Everybody – um book like um what is it called cookbook that i ordered it and i've been crushing some of those recipes in there wow so are and you, are surprisingly is like like are you going vegan or you just like those options no i like those options i've i've started to like slow down on the meat like i i don't think i i don't normally eat a lot of meat anyway um but like this is just giving me like better options to you know and have fun things to cook. Like, it's been really enjoyable. And I don't know, just to try something new, spice it up. And yeah, yeah. Ash is like such a good cook. And so, you know, normally she's like she making is. meals she for us. She gets on that grill and is like, Mm-mm-mm. yeah. And I'm like, teach me your ways. But um, I took it, took it up and uh, tried to, you know, learn myself. So yeah. I've been cooking a few meals and she's actually been really liking them. So I'm really happy nice yeah so that's been cool and then i don't know just reconnecting with friends and family has been like so good and yeah just like honestly sitting like with myself and thoughts and just like i don't know just yeah, reevaluating a lot of the stuff that. yeah we're kind of reevaluating on like how we're living and um how is the new know, house treating you guys it's great i love it like we love our neighborhood we love our neighbors everyone's so sweet and I don't know. I just feel like it's super diverse and welcoming and it's like people of all ages. So it's really enjoyable and like a lot of young families. So like we fit right in, which is great. Nice. And yeah. you said that you finished um, decorating it or not quite? Not quite. So we, yeah, one of our like really good friends is um, helping us design some of the rooms or basically the whole house. <laughs> And we're, like, trying to sell a lot of, like, our old furniture that doesn't really fit from our old house, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, yeah, we're in that process, which is actually really fun. And this is, like, a perfect time to do it. So we've been really enjoying it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, love, so, I love interior design, you guys. I know. Well, your house is, like, gorge. Oh, thanks. But, like, I love I'm how so, you guys... I'm, like, kind of basic a little bit. I'm, like, oh, Pottery Barn? Oh, Restoration <laughs> Yes, please. Like, yeah, but it, like, fits the aesthetic of, like, the home. Oh, thanks. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, your home, like, it fits that. Like, our home is, like, super modern, so it needs to be, like, I don't know. 
we're like yeah, shopping at like, like cb2 and like bow concept and like you know um where else i don't know mainly those two but yeah so we had to get rid of a lot of our other stuff that kind of fit our other house but doesn't fit this aesthetic at all yeah Okay, I'm not sure if they're still on, but I just think we should give some shout outs to some of our friends that might might be here. Um, one of my former teammates at Arsenal, Beth Mead. Mito, what up? I don't know if you're still on. Hi. Um, Pino, I don't know if you're still on, but hey, girl. Hi, love you. Um, I thought I think that I saw somebody say that Chris Oh, Chi. I just saw Chi. Oh, Chi, what's up, girl? Yeah. Um, and Pressy, I think like Oh Press was on? Yeah, she did she dibble dabbled. I don't know if she's still on, but so cute. Um, I love Yeah, her. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yay. I am done. Well hopefully they brought their nail polish. Yeah, I hope that they did too. Oh, I gotta put my cuticle oil on. Oh. You know how so like wait, can we talk about this? I don't know if we yeah. ever talked about this. You know at the end sometimes they like throw the oil on, which is like I'm sure very hydrating <laughs> for your cuticles. But then, but then you, like, you get it on your, your, in your car. Yeah, it's, it's like, like on my steering like, wheel, like clothes. fingerprints. I look like a yeah. grubby, like, like kid that like has like Dorito <laughs> fingers or something. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of like, eh, hard pass on that. Even though, yeah, lotion just give sometimes. me some, lo like, give me some lotion. We don't need to be slime balls walking out the door. Yeah, but sometimes they put the oil in the lotion and then massage it, which oh, I'm sure is great. The most. That's but then I nice. like, I go wash my hands after before I go to the car. So yeah, no, I agree. I'm like, that is like, and it's not, like not all mixed in, right? It's like, kind of weird. I don't understand why they do that. But listen, anybody that's gonna massage my forearms and my hands. <laughs> wow, I'm not gonna argue with you because right. Nice. Um, Ash and I always do this like every day, we always talk about like our high point and low point of the day. And I just oh. want to ask you, I'm That's pretty so sure. Freaking cute. Gosh. Yeah. So I think at the end of the day, we just try to find like, I don't know, something super positive to end the day on, which is great. Um, but like, I wanted to ask you what your high point of the day was, which I probably already know. Um, <laughs> well, uh, it was so this. far. Okay. The low point else? was when I was a stress ball for like three minutes beforehand. Yeah, I you were. I was texting Allie, like, I can't find it. They're I waiting, was like, I'm waiting. Um, so that was a little bit stressful. But okay, two things that, two good things for me that happened today. One, this. Loves it. Secondly, yeah. um, I have been doing my coaching badge, like you know, yeah. my course. And I had my final exam today for my UEFA B coaching course. Mm -hmm. And it's taken me a couple months to like do this because like you have to do sessions and right. do reflections, et cetera. You know the whole thing. Oh it's my God. Time. It's like so intense. It's just like a lot. So today I had my final exam and I think I crushed it. Uh. No, it was like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, Sorry. I lost anyways, it. so I did that and my, my teacher said that that I passed and that they're going to like, yeah. Do yay. I recommend well, I should have more to glass. So that was like one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was like one of those things on my to-do list that I was like, Lord, Lord, this is hanging over my head for a long time. So yeah. I got it done, which was so lovely. Good for um, you. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. What about you? What was your highlight? Do we even have to do? Obviously oh. this. Oh, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> thank what? you, Megan. Megan said like, hey, oh, stop putting your fingers up to your hair if you're getting polished in your hair. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think I got like. Um, I, cuticle I, know, I waited for mine to dry, but I kept going like this. <laughs> <Make sure>. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay um, that was a good shout from a good friend okay <laughs> thanks mag so um high point obviously now and also we had like a really good team meeting today which i was i was really proud of the gals i'm like oh, okay. i don't know i love our team um so that was cool um and then yeah we like had some breakthroughs with that which was nice and then i don't know just like taking the pups on a walk was really enjoyable yeah i mean honestly like <laughs> you're looking at it yeah yeah like this is it this is yeah. it so yeah but we and shouldn't just, downplay just... this we should not downplay this i think that when we say this was the highlight i mean we've been I mean, wanting to do an episode of oak Kriegers for a while now a long time no 
that we'd be forced. I was like, twisting our arm. Um, right. I didn't know <laughs> that we'd be forced. I didn't know. I, I didn't, I didn't one, know. That. Um, online verge because you know of a terrible pandemic breakout but um, worldwide so, crisis honey yeah we um we just have to roll with the punches and for now get I through it yeah anyways i feel a lot prettier it's, it's crazy how like doing um nails and like even your eyebrows like i feel like a different person i know that I always walk out and do the cliche, like, I'm a new woman, and you, like, roll your eyes. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> no, but, like, it's true. It's totally true. I did my makeup today for the first time, and, like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember the last time. Anyway, um, probably for my, like, last interview with Ash, but I did my makeup, and I automatically, like, felt better. And I was yeah. just like, ugh. I know. I it know. is, like, important to, like, put on, like, normal clothes, yeah. Oh my gosh. Right now, though, speaking of normal clothes, I know we're going to What do you? Um, I didn't really get that many pregnancy clothes because I'm like, that's weird. I don't need that. <laughs> Are you wearing like crop tops? Are they turning into crop tops or what? <laughs> I was running one day <laughs> like... and I tried to wear like one of my normal workout tees, like an Adidas tee, and it kept like <laughs> creeping up my belly. And like, I no, show me right now. Show down. me right now. Like, this is not a good look. Like, I'm a scene right now. Anyways, but, like, I feel like you just wear leggings and, like, I just wear leggings and, like, hooded sweatshirts anyways. Yeah. Or, like, big tees. So, I don't re really need to um, change my, like, attire too much. I w just went to Lululemon and, like, one up to my size and pretty much everything. <laughs> um, but, anyway, I don't did order right one, now. like, from some clothes store that i saw on instagram which they like find you know instagram find, uh, ads like will find you yeah and so i keep getting like bombarded with all these baby stuff and like you're like stuff and i'm like I'm good. yeah usually i'm like hold up but this one site i was like oh i like that actually <laughs> and so i got like jeans looks like my size yeah <laughs> i got i got jeans but they're like they actually straight up have the elastic. Like, Wait, back up. Like, I'm wearing mom jeans. I'm wearing mom jeans. I never thought. This is my only pair that I bought. They're like, you white hate and it. White and they're you like, hate it. And stuff. But like, I'm wearing elastic jeans. I'm obsessed. Well, 44 more days, sis. Yeah, yeah. You got this shit. Come on. Yeah. We've been through worse. Yeah, yeah. Alex is due like I know. days ago. I know. We just spoke to her. I'm just oh. like, tell us ASAP, if not sooner, when she's yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, 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 um, Wait, so Allie, there's been a lot of shouts about you having one earring in. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. It has, like, rainbow diamonds on it. That is so cute. Thank you. So I got it when I was though, in like, New York City. I'm, like, so jealous, though. I'm like, I would love to wear one earring, but it just would, like... <laughs> <clears throat> it wouldn't be right for me it wouldn't be right like i guess it goes just, back why not just try that. it what do you mean what's right and wrong i don't know i feel like i would look like some kind of like pino pino i know you're on here and you're listening to this <laughs> can i wear one earring sometimes yes. i wear it because like it fell out like on an airplane or something but that's an accident should i purposely wear one earring <laughs> Why don't you try it and then see how you feel and then we can report back next week. Okay, okay. I'll just take out one of my like little diamond guys right now and I'll see um or see if Dave notices. Yeah. And I'll say that I was inspired by your one earring. Oh <laughs> Pino says no. Okay. He said um, no? Pino already said no. Oh absolutely not. Okay, okay. Wait, okay. Wait, I just what? got the Tra one. <laughs> I just got the oh, one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, let's um, see. No, no, okay. here on the other side. I feel like a little bit like something's up, but um, yeah. I'm going to give this a try. <laughs> yeah, it's from this amazing jeweler in New York City, Carla. <laughs> what did she say? Pino. Pino's asked me if I'm just going to wear one pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we all have our unique styles. I mean, <laughs> I was just looking at my hair pearl. and I'm like, I don't know if anybody else, but my grays are like coming in full oh, force. Shoot. But I'm getting my hair done Friday, I think. Or was that tomorrow? Yeah. June. Wait, what how? Is it? I don't know. Ash set it up with Clint, our main man. Oh, okay. Well, just be I don't careful. Know. Make sure he's not, like, breathing on you. I won't. I'm going to be wearing a mask, and he's oh, probably yeah. the same. 
Okay, okay, okay. We'll be careful, I promise. Okay. I thought you meant like go to the shop and get like box dye. One time I did that in college. It was <laughs> not. Good. I don't know. I can't do oh, it. God. I've been listening to all the hairstylists say, whatever you do, don't do that. So, yeah. I'm Anyways, just going to wait. Even if it you out. did have some grays, you'd be a silver fox. Angles. Um, thank you. I, my mom, like, she was gray at 30 and then finally let it loose. And I think her hair is gorge. It's like so white and pretty. Oh, and like, oh. so it is so pretty. Yeah. So when you're ready, like, you I, can't rock that. You're I, mean, I, think adorable. It, I think it's, you know, moving slow, but oh anyway, gosh. um, okay. Pino's up to no good. What is she oh, doing? God. Oh God, Pino, 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 this is not your stage. You and also, go. pour yourself a glass, sis. Pino, you already did your live thing. Yeah, pour yourself a glass, <laughs> unwind after hopping. I could tell you were a little bit nervous um, in what? your intro thing. Yeah, yeah, now you're laughing. Yeah, you need to pour yourself a uh, glass and, and not like Perrier. Like, I'm I kidding. didn't see. She was roasting me, someone said. Girl, what'd you say? oh <laughs> uh, i don't know i don't know but okay right, yay. well us. listen if we get enough good feedback if we if we get enough good feedback like maybe we'll do another episode i don't know but I don't yeah know. we need some questions i'd love to um, right. have some fun combos <laughs> oh gosh you're being like, you're being called out for getting your nail done i mean your hair done so, you know, uh, you be careful because if you guys get sick, woo, it's going to be a tough one to recover. Fine, you guys. I'll cancel tonight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yay. Um, listen, I don't want to, like, toot our own horns. Toot, toot. But <laughs> listen, I think that this, toot, toot. Was just, this was just what the doctor well, we ordered it. for yeah. a lot of people. My nail, my nails, um, thank you. Um, and I hope that everybody has a wonderful evening. Say hi. I, know, I wish we could see everyone's nails. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe on like the Twitter or Instagram. You're like, going to start getting a bunch of photos of people's nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't need that in my life. I'm just kidding. Never I mind. actually deleted Twitter, like just the app. You know how I've gone through these stages? I know. I haven't really been posting at all, and I've just been like, Hi, Karen. Like um, That's my buddy, KT. Um, I know I, I had to step away from Twitter because yeah. I was reading too much. All the news. About, like, and I was just like. Like every update on like CNN or whatever. I was like reading it right away. And I was like, this, this isn't right for me. Like I'm not. First of all, I don't like being on my screen like all day long. Yeah. Second of all, it was just like there was nothing really new coming. So I was just like, what am I doing? So I just I deleted the app which I've done before in my life because um, I'm like, I need to step away. I delete the app and then I still go to twitter.com a few times throughout the day. Like, right. what a crazy person. But Yeah, you know, but like, I just don't have time to scroll through everything and like, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I love like social media and connecting with people, but I'm just doing stuff. I'm just like literally doing stuff around the house, organizing, yeah. cleaning, whatever, like normal people things, going on walks and doing shit, you know? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, I'm not just on my phone all the time. Yeah. Wait, speaking of, somebody just asked a great question. Um, no, oh, it's not Opinos, it's Okriegers. Somebody said it should be called o Opinos because Pino stole the show. Um, no, <laughs> step aside. Um, Where's Ash and is she watching? <laughs> I don't know. She probably is. And she's probably so mad that I told everyone about my hair. Oh, God. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are going to have to. Whatever. Lie. No one say anything. Okay. Uh, just like, yeah, this let is it a go. a circle of internet trust. Yes. Um, okay. Awesome. Well, I think, well, with 100% confirmation, Dave is definitely not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. She didn't text me. So she's like probably sleeping or hanging with the pups or I don't know. I said, I have a meeting with Heyo, a hangout actually. Yeah. At five. 
So I'm going to do that. I based my whole day around this. Um, okay. Yay. Well, we tried to keep it to 30 minutes, peeps, because we wanted, you know, to just kind of whet your appetite yeah. really and if you want more. Um, but we I hope they come back. back. Yeah. We hope that you guys come back. Um, anyways, just try to stay healthy. Try to stay happy. Um, Allie, text me if there's any shenanigans. Kino was like, she just texted and was like, hold on, last thing. And then she gone. She said, she said, your little secret, you and 3,900 people. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you're going to have to make a m mature adult decision if you can. Oh, she her. called me that Florida person. Well, whatever. Oh, speaking of which, look at this rash on my neck. I think I have poison ivy. From do what? Poison I, ivy, I, or do you think that's like a mosquito family went nuts on me? <laughs> I don't know. I think a mosquito family had a meeting. <laughs> okay, because like it's v itchy. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, take care of that. Clean what? it up. Take care of that and clean it up. Yeah. No, of on ten. Yeah. What up? Um, maybe we'll maybe okay, we'll ask great, people great, for questions. Great. So okay. Well, perhaps we'll do this again. Yay. Um, this was so fun to see you. I actually feel, um, like really I revived. Know. I miss you so much. Okay. I miss you too. And um, thank you everyone for joining. We love you guys so much. <laughs> what is she? <laughs> mosquitoes. <laughs> mosquito zone. She's back. Oh, I thought she left. Somebody called it the mosquito orgy. I don't know. Something's happening there. It's so itchy. Okay. Okay. We gotta go. Yeah, no, this is, this is hit a, hit a point where like, we just all have to say goodbye. Okay. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye. Love you, Love and you I will talk to you soon. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye.